All right, today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna start installing some rabbit-proof fencing at the bottom of this chain link. You'll notice that the chain link is free, doesn't touch the ground, and that a rabbit can get underneath here. And I need to make sure that my vineyard and my berry patch and my melon patch are all gonna be protected from the rabbits. So I've got two inch by three inch mesh garden fencing, and this is three feet high. And all I've done is unroll a 50 foot section against the fence and now I'm gonna bend it into an L shape. And I'll bend it so that I end up with five or so of these squares flat on the ground. And then the rest of it is gonna come up against the fence. All right, come on, take a look at this. This is crushed granite but you could use slag, you could use any type of rock, or you could even use dirt. I'm just using this heavy material to make sure I weigh the fence down. And now I'm covering up that wire that's on the ground with about two to three inches of this granite. Okay, so what I'm using to connect this new wire to the chain link fence are cage clips, and they come with these special pliers, and you just basically find where two of the pieces of wire get close to each other, crimp it over, and that's a nice, tight, secure fit. All right, here's one side of the rabbit-proof fence. At least I hope it's gonna be rabbit-proof. So the way this rabbit-proof fence works is that the rabbits can't dig through this wire mesh that's on the ground with the heavy granite on top of it. And then this just provides extra mesh so that they can't go through the chain link fence to get in. It's actually the same design as the Australian rabbit-proof fence, which is the longest rabbit-proof fence in the world, over 2,000 miles long. 